Ukrainian bishop offering aid at front lines, we wait for Christmas in the cold apostrophe. The auxiliary bishop of Kharkiv Zaporizhia, Jan Sobilo, recounts the situation in the diocese and the preparations for the birth of Jesus amid terror from bombings and the nuclear threat, saying that over 1,500 people line up daily outside his window for a piece of bread. Speaking via video link from Ukraine, Bishop Jan Sobilo says that under the window of his apartment there are 1,500 people standing in line for some food. I would show them to you, they are standing in line for a piece of bread, a quarter of a loaf of bread that the Albertini friars are distributing. The Auxiliary Bishop of Kharkiv Zaporizhia spoke for about an hour with a group of journalists from various newspapers and nationalities traveling to Poland and Ukraine on a mission organized by the two embassies to the Holy See. The bishop apologizes for not being able to be physically present and for missing a few questions from journalists, explaining that you hear gunfire all the time, and this also changes your way of thinking. He says he is not afraid and looks forward with hope to Christmas. Bishop Sobilo has visited the nuclear power plant in his region twice, and once a week he goes to the front to bring aid to the people. It was in those very areas of risk that he stood alongside Cardinal Konrad Krajewski when the prefect of the dicastery for the service of charity came under fire during a visit in September. Your Excellency, what is the situation today in Kharkiv and Zaporizhia? Thousands of people are without electricity, even the pumps that are used to pump water are not working. There is a lack of generators for electricity. If this continues, houses and skyscrapers will become refrigerators. It's getting more and more tragic. Despite the disconnected electricity and the missiles that keep falling, however, people keep coming to church hoping that the Lord will be able to stop the war before the world feels its consequences. Pope Francis recently sent a letter to the Ukrainian people and has not failed to make continuous appeals for the tormented country. How do you and your people experience this closeness of the Pope? It helps a lot. Through Cardinal Krajewski, in the past months the Pope had already sent us material aid and moral support to encourage us bishops and priests. More than two weeks ago I was in the Vatican and had the opportunity to speak with the Holy Father who remarked his support, especially for the people in eastern Ukraine, in the bomb cities. He assured us of his thoughts, his prayers, his love.